Adam, Dave, thank you. Expectations through the roof entering the season for Isaiah Washington. And though his first eight games were a little underwhelming for the Gale fans, the last six have been nothing but great for them. In double figures in five out of six, and that one game that he wasn't in double figures, well, to get for the Gales, he was on triple double watch with eight points, seven rebounds, and a season high seven assists. Now last game, he was just one away from his tying his career high, had 25 points and 10 rebounds for his first double double of the season. Now with Asante Gist going down, his emergence all the more important for acting head coach Trey Arnold and the Gales. Back over to you. Coach being out rebounded 23 to eight out there. How do you look to get back on the glass? We've got to compete. Um, that's all it is. Uh, 11 offensive rebounds. Um, they've obviously got more opportunities than us, and, and, and their leading scorer and the, their main guys are, are going. And we've got to defend, we've got to rebound, and, and get opportunities where we can execute. How do you like to get back into this one? What's the message to the team? Just competing. Yep, just competing. All right, Coach, thank you. Good yep, luck in, in the second half. Dave, Adam, back over to you. And let's send it to Ian. Is the only team in Division I in the nation that is undefeated at home, sitting at 9-0, and winless on the road with an 0-9 record. Now, those road games include losses to nationally ranked Xavier, as well as the Ivy co-regular season champion from a year ago in Harvard and Yale. Now, I spoke to Coach Massarello before the game, and he said that that Strength of schedule is the exact reason why they booked it to prepare them for this 20 game back slate. And well, they're 11 minutes away from their first road victory of the season. Back over to you. 11 to play. Thank you so much. And coach, first time here against the four time defending champions, and you come out with a dominant win. What does it say? Hey, we'll, we'll take it. You know, I thought our guys were locked in. I thought we've been playing some good basketball this last week. And, you know, just a credit to our staff to get these guys ready to play. Score 87 points with no one with more than 13, seven players in double figures. What does that speak to about your team? Yeah, like I told you before in the pregame, you know, I love our bench, you know, great point distribution. I thought, you know, we were able to stick to the game plan. When this group sticks to the game plan, great things happen. Preseason player of the year, Jalen Pinkett with 12, 7, and 7, showing he's more than just a scorer. Oh, yeah, no, he's a, he's a great, great point guard. You know, he's a coach on the floor, and he's taking a step that way for us, too. So excited to excited to be able to coach him. Coach, congratulations on the win. We'll bring in Jalen now. Thank you. All right, Jalen. Jalen, congratulations on the win. 12 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. What was working so well for you and, and the team as a whole tonight? Um, the last couple of games, we've really gotten it going after the Buffalo trip, just playing defense and then just getting out of transition. Really tough to beat when we can get defense stop and then play together as a team and share the ball. It's just fun to watch us finally start putting things together and playing hard. Seven players in double figures, 13 as the high man, and you put 87 points on the board. What does that speak to about the balance on this team? Um, that's how we wanted to play at the beginning of the year. We want to tag and finish, and we want everybody getting love and showing love. We got a lot of good players out there, and everybody's just growing each and every day. The coach is doing a great job, and it just shows the unselfishness of this team. Trying to create a little separation now with the win here today. As you look ahead now, calendar turning to February tomorrow. What do you see is the destiny for this Siena team? Um, we just got to keep improving. Taking it day by day. I mean, we beat Iona last year at their place too, and they came out and they beat us at our place twice. So we just got to take it day by day and keep getting better. Um, we got St. Peter's coming up on Sunday, and we're going to get ready for that one. Jalen, congratulations on the win. Thank you, sir. Dave, Adam, back over to you.